Hi everybody, this is Dwayne, the old timer. I've got a uh, 2003 Ranger boat here. My depth finder, it's an old one. And all of my uh, electronics down here, my radio. Uh, and all the instruments down in here, my live well. Um, aerator and my horn and um, bilge everything just stopped working and I thought oh brother what could this be so I took it to the boat shop at the lake that I was uh, fishing at and uh, he thought it was probably a bad relay it'd be uh, in this box here the motherboard is and all the fuses so I opened it up and the relays are all built in you can't just take them out unplug them so he didn't know what it was he suggested I contact Ranger of course I'm at the lake and I want to fish so I started looking around sometimes you just start flipping switches and there's this uh, breaker in here Put a light on it there and this breaker so i turned this breaker off and then i turned it turned it back on and i did that a couple of times and it started working again so this happened a couple of more times where i just flipped it off and turned it back on and then things would work again so it became pretty obvious that this was most likely the problem. So it's pretty easy. What you want to do is unhook your lead. Unhook your lead to the battery terminal, of course. And uh, let's lay it down there. Then you can come over here and undo the lead here. I've already taken this off, as you can probably see. Take that lead that from the battery goes to here. Then there's another. The other side goes to the uh, the rest the, the, the wherever it goes to hook everything up and take these three screws out and it just comes right out it's really simple so now I have this <clears throat> breaker here in my hand and uh, so I go on the internet and I look up Blue Seas Systems and I they're still in business and I called them up uh, sent actually took a picture and sent it to them so they know exactly what uh, which of their products I had and they said yeah that we had a bunch of trouble with that um, and uh, we had a recall on it and so they said, you, there's a replacement part, and we'll just send it to you free of charge, which I thought was pretty doggone nice of them. And this is the uh, replacement. And I'll give you a minute to look at this so you can write down the, uh, you know, 187 series circuit breaker, and uh, so you can uh, get your replacement. So I'm going to just show you how to reinstall it. It's pretty simple. And uh, hopefully this helps someone out there. And uh, I'm gonna get started on that now. So fortunately, this looks like pretty much the same housing and the uh, old one's gonna go right back in the same places, or the new one's gonna go right back into the same place as the old one. And I won't have to drill any new holes. Okay, it's all back together again. Except for I'm going to put on my lead to the positive terminal of my battery. And uh, that should do it. So...
Now I'm going to drop the, turn the uh, breaker on. No sparks. That's always a good thing. Now, uh, let's go check and see if we have anything working at our uh, instrument panel here. First off, I can try the horn. Oh, look at that panel light up. Wow, that's never done that before. Whoa, turn on the aerator pump real quick. Don't want to run those dry for more than a split second. Yep, yep. Hey, that works. Oh, I'm so excited. I believe that fixed my problem. Hopefully that was helpful. And if it was, hit the like button on the YouTube video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks.